Hi there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to save some time when adding tasks to a project by using Xero's products and services section. This video is part of a full series on Xero projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how it's done. So when we were adding tasks before into our website rebuild project, we went through and we clicked on add and task and then we had to put all of the details in. So if you had certain tasks that you did over and over again for different projects, you can set them up in products and services and then you can bring the information through to your projects. So let's say for example, this handover meeting is something that we do quite regularly. So if we're building websites for different clients, they'll all have a handover meeting and they all go pretty much the same way and we always charge the client $200. Instead of setting it up from scratch every time we do a project, we can add it as a service. So let's go in and see how that works. Okay, so in the products and services section here of Zero, we have a bunch of services and we also have some physical products. So you can see who we've got golf balls that are physical products and there's some t-shirts down here as well. And they all have a buy price and a sell price. And we also have services like development work and down here we've got project management, etc. So we don't buy those in as such, but we do sell them. So we can use this sort of thing and bring it through to our projects as one of the services that we offer. But let's go ahead and actually set one up from scratch for our handover meetings. So we'll click on new item and you need to give everything that you set up here a unique code. So I'm gonna call this one web dash handover meeting HOM there and I'll give it a name. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it the handover meeting. Now we don't actually purchase this item so we can untick that box there, but we do sell it. So what we need to do is put in a sale price and that's going to be the $200 that we're going to charge the customer. And we also need to choose a sales account. So we'll just choose that 200 account there with GST on income. And then you've also got a description down here. So this is just grab the name from up here. But if you want to put something different in there, you can go ahead and do that. And then finally down here, you can check this box if you track the item. So for a service, we don't track it. This is for physical inventory. If you actually keep stock on hand and you want to use your inventory asset account. So we don't tick that for this particular service here. So we'll click on save and we'll scroll down. So what we've got here now is our handover meeting. We don't have a cost price and we've got a sale price of $200. So now when we go back to projects, we can bring that item through to any of our projects. So let's just have a look at this new website project here that's already set up. Okay, and we'll add it in here. So we'll go add, and you can put it in as an estimated expense first if you want, or you can just put it in as an expense if you've actually occurred it. So just to save some time, I'll just put it in as an expense. Okay, and we'll just type in uh, H for handover meeting. So that's brought up everything in the products and services section that has a H in it. I'll just put HA, there we are, handover meeting. Okay, we're not tracking it to an estimate because we didn't put in an estimated expense, but you can if you like. Um, the quantity is one and the cost to you, so this is not the amount that we're charging the client, this is a cost to us. So if you want to, you can put in a cost. So if this goes for two hours and it's $50 an hour um, for your uh, staff rate, you can put in 100 there if you like, or you can put in nothing if you don't want to track a cost against this meeting. And then down here, you can put in a percentage markup, but what you want to do is actually put in custom price. And you can see that this has brought the $200 in through that service that we set up. So we can click on save. Okay, and that's in there now as an untracked expense. So when we go to invoice the client, you can see that that's come through there. So we can just invoice that right away as long as it's done. If it's not done, of course, you can just uncheck it and put it on a future invoice. Okay, so that's how you can bring it through to a project. 
So the way you can save yourself some time is that if you have another project, so let's just say we do this brand launch event, we can bring it through here as well. So there's the handover meeting and we'll just put that in again as a hundred uh, custom price and save. And once again, that's been brought through uh, to this particular project straight from our products and services section. So if you've got certain things that you do quite a lot, so let's say that you actually build websites all the time, you might set all of these things up as services in the products and services section. And then when you go to create your project, you can just bring them through really quickly one by one. And that should save you some time when you're setting up projects that are pretty similar to each other.